This video is going to compare some new skin glues that we're carrying. So skin glue is a form of super glue, but it's specially formulated for the skin. So it's supposed to be less cytotoxic, cause less damage, and it generally is a, a lot more elastic. So general kind of hardware super glue doesn't have a lot of elasticity. So when you use it on the skin, it tends to stick really well, harden, and with any movement, especially around fingers and, and joints, um, it will crack and fall off. So this is supposed to be more elastic uh, and move a little bit better. So we're gonna try all these two. Glue Stitch is one that's actually made in Canada, which is pretty cool. Uh, commonly used in the medical field. Comes sterilely packed, so it's a little extra clean. Um, and that it's a one-time applicator. Uh, Liquid Skin's another one that's commonly used. Again, it comes in a applicator. It's a generally a one-time use item. Uh, this one is non-sterilely packed, but it is sterile enclosure inside. So both are options. Uh, this one's a little bit cheaper. Uh, then this guy here, this one's Health Canada approved, a little bit more of a, a name brand in Canada. So just some options there, but they are both for skin. So we're going to look at the wound here. So here on the hand, we have a small laceration you can see. So it's nice and straight. It's superficial. There's no puncture, no significant contamination. Those would all be times we would not consider gluing if there was a puncture, lots of contamination, it was a deep wound, anything like that, we would want to leave it open and allow for uh, dirt and drainage to come out. But this one looks uncomplicated. So things we could do, we could clean this with some saline uh, or water, you know, BZK swabs to really give it a good clean there. And then we'll try our glue out. So we'll try this liquid skin first. So the cap just comes off there and then you just spin the little protector off and we should have some glue flow here. So we'll look at it on the hand. Oh yeah, here it comes. Okay, so we're just gonna do a thin layer on top is what it recommends. And it says it can take anywhere from 30 seconds uh, to about a minute and a half for it to work. So we'll leave that there. And then just to try it on real skin as well, I'm gonna try a little bit uh, right on the joint here, right on the knuckle. So we'll see how that does with movement. And we'll let that harden up here. So again, skin glue, this is best for uncomplicated, fairly clean, simple, superficial lacerations, especially around areas that are going to get dirty. So hands, uh, a facial laceration, big things you want to make sure is that you definitely do not get this in the eye. Uh, you don't want to get hair trapped in it if you're doing a face. And if it looks at all dirty and you think it's a high likelihood that it's already contaminated, then we would not close it because we want to allow that that wound to breathe and heal from secondary intention where it allows that drainage to come out of the wound and we would just clean it and cover it um, and it may create a little bit bigger of a scar uh, but that's really the only kind of downside of doing it that way but again this way is really good for areas that are small uh, not super deep areas of joints uh, like I said the face or the fingers um, and what it does is it really creates almost like a second layer of skin on top to again keep it clean uh, and from getting infected, and it will uh, it will keep that that wound closed. This generally lasts, you know, around five days or so, and then it will just naturally fall off. So this one still looks a little bit wet. Same with this one here. So we'll give them another moment to dry there. Um, we would not want to blow on this because that's obviously going to just add more possibility of infection. So you really just want to leave it alone to air dry. Uh, the nice thing with any of these skin glues is if you do get it on your hands, um, just twist your things apart and it will release the skin glue. Um, also Vaseline or any ointment works really well to just degrade the skin glue. So if it's in an area you don't want, um, you could do some Vaseline on top and that will break the skin glue down and allow you to change where you're putting it. 
So it's still quite wet there. I think I put a good, good layer on top there. So we'll leave that for a bit. I'm going to start the video again once this is dried and we'll take a look at it. This video, we're going to look at the glue stitch. So this is a skin glue available in Canada, made in Canada. Um, so it's a medical grade skin glue that's more elastic. It's going to have better stretch. Um, and it's also sterile and safe to use on the skin. We would use this on small, uncomplicated wounds. So not very large, fairly superficial. Uh, what this is really going to do is create a second layer of skin on top to prevent infection. Uh, but we only want to do this in a wound that looks pretty good already. So if there's a lot of contaminants already in the wound, it's a puncture wound, an animal bite, uh, anything like that, we're not going to skin glue it. We're just going to clean it, cover it, and let it heal on its own. This would be for areas like a, a small like knife gash that's not super deep, uh, around fingers, maybe a facial laceration that's not very deep, where we want to well approximate the skin, like bring it back together. We can glue it to kind of hold it there. And this will keep the wound together and prevent infection from getting in. But again, you really want to make sure it's, it's very clean before you do that. So cleaning with uh, some saline, uh, water, you know, BZK swabs, really making sure it's really clean before you close it. If you're concerned that it's contaminated and it's not clean, we would not do this gluing, okay? So here's the glue stitch. And this one here, we're gonna have to cut. So we'll just cut the end off. So here's our little applicator. And this has, again, just a single dose. So we're gonna glue up this little laceration we have here we can find it. Oh, there it is. Tiny little laceration there. We're just going to add a little bit of glue across. Let that dry. And then I'm going to test this on my finger as well just to see the elasticity. So I'm just going to run a little length across there. And then you want to allow this to air dry. You don't want to blow on it because that's again going to introduce possible pathogens and infection. You just want to let this dry naturally. It may take 30 seconds to a couple of minutes. So just let it do its thing. If you've glued an area you don't like, um, you can add Vaseline on top and that'll loosen it up. Uh, if you get yourself stuck to it, just twist and that'll help break the glue bond. So otherwise you just wanna leave the area nice and still, let it set. Again, don't blow on it. It will take 30 seconds to a couple of minutes to dry and then it should be good and set. And this skin glue will kind of come off on its own after about five to 10 days. So that's our skin gluing. So I'm going to stop the video here and then we'll play another one when we test just the elasticity and the hold of these glues. All right, so both the glues have dried. This is really interesting. That liquid skin actually doesn't seem to have closed the wound at all. And it hasn't really dried well and it's been on for a good minute longer, actually two minutes longer. So it's still actually quite wet to the touch and it didn't really close that skin at all. The glue stitch though is super bonded. That little wound there won't open up at all. It's completely closed. This dried really quick in about a minute. And then on my knuckles here, this one is the liquid bandage. Again, still wet and you can really feel a lot more tension and it's actually cracking quite easily. Whereas uh, this one here is that glue stitch. I don't feel any tension or cracking when I'm doing that. So that glue stitch is definitely a superior product. It's holding a lot better. You can really see the uh, the cracking there in the liquid bandage. So that's cracking pretty instantly. But the glue stitch, nothing. Nice and flexy, holding really well. And like I said, wow, does that dry well. So just some options for you. I mean, the, the liquid bandage is, is definitely cheaper. Uh, we see it used in a lot of kits in the States, but it's it's not actually holding at all from what I'm getting here. Um, so that may be a deterrent to the purchase. Now, maybe if we leave it longer, it will. I'll try it again here, but I'm not actually getting any good results with that. Uh, whereas, like I said, that liquid stitch, that's impeccable. That happened right away. So that was just a comparison of the two products. Here's your liquid skin. This is the one that didn't really hold super well. So I, I'm not sure about this. We'll have to do some more testing with this. But the glue stitch, that is fantastic. 
instant bond, about 30 seconds. Really nice and flexy. I'm not getting any pull at all. Um, and it held that wound together beautifully. So, you know, this would be my choice right now um, to purchase and, and use. Uh, really nice small applicator. You just cut the tip off and then it flows beautifully. You got enough in there to do a good, good bit of wound. Um, yeah, this is definitely my choice. So that was just a quick comparison of a couple of the skin glues there. So again, we had tested the liquid skin against the glue stitch. So glue stitch is a product made in Canada um, that's safe to use for closing superficial wounds. Uh, glue stitch is a US made product. Um, it's not as highly reputable and we found some issues with it. So here is the finger that was covered with the glue stitch and you can really see it flaking and just coming right off. It, it hardened really hard and doesn't have a lot of flex to it. This finger here, you can't even see it. That we covered with the glue stitch, it's flexing beautifully. Nothing is flaking off here. I can still feel a nice coverage of it and it has great flex. Whereas I really feel the tension on this. So we do see the liquid skin as a cheaper product out there. Um, but I really, in the small bit of testing I've done here, have found it quite useless. Uh, it's not holding uh, the wound together that we tried on the hand here. So we tried gluing that and it really didn't hold at all. Whereas the glue stitch, this little guy here, this was awesome. Great flex on the skin, immediately closed the wound within about 30 seconds um, and dries real fast. So this is definitely my preference for skin glue is using this glue stitch. Um, so just some thoughts as you're looking into products out there, that glue stitch, that's a fantastic product. Really loving it. Great usage.